Welcome back to Castle Panic, the Wizard's Tower expansion we're using here for this playthrough. And last time um, was part three, now we're into part four. And we'll take a look at the six cards that I had at the end of the last episode. I have a brick, a green swordsman, another brick card, the barbarian, hanging on to him for obvious reasons, another brick card, and mystical manufacturing. And I misspoke on the mystical manufacturing last time. I thought I could uh, build three towers. In fact, I can rebuild one destroyed tower. So we're into the discard and draw phase. So I'm going to discard the green swordsman and the brick, allowing me to draw two cards. And I'm actually going to draw both cards from the castle deck. I want to start uh, getting some hit cards. And I got a green swordsman, which didn't I just get rid of him? Uh, and I got a any colored knight. That's good. Okay. And now we're into the play cards section. Um, and so what I'm going to do is right now I'm going to use the any colored knight that I just drew. And with the any colored knight, I'm going to hit this orc in the red knight area and kill him. All right. And next, I am indeed going to use the Mystical Manufacturing. And to reread the card properly, it says play this card with one brick. So here I have a brick. Or one mortar card to rebuild one destroyed tower. So this combination is going to let me rebuild one destroyed tower. So I'm going to put a tower back in section number six. So there we go. And I'm also going to play this brick card as part of the Wizard's Tower uh, expansion. If you play one brick or one mortar, you can remove one flame token from a wall or from a structure. So I'm going to play that one brick and I'm going to take the flame off of this wall. Uh, if monsters hit flaming walls, uh, the walls don't damage the monster. So it's good to not have flames on your walls. And for right now, I'm just going to hang on to the Barbarian, the Green Swordsman. And we're going to go into the Move Monsters. So the Imp moves up one, which I don't like. Cyclops moving up one, uh, which I also don't like. Nothing in two, nothing three, nothing four. And our Orc moves up in five, nothing in six. And now we're into the draw two tokens. First token we draw is... Well... Not good. The Goblin King. And with the Goblin King comes three henchmen. So you draw three extra tokens for drawing the Goblin King. And let's see where he shows up. He shows up in forest area number six. So I have to remember we have to draw three extra tokens for him. Uh, so our second token is a Gargoyle. So it's another flying creature. It has two hit points. And where does the Gargoyle show up? shows up in section one. So gargoyle in section one and now we have to draw three extra tokens because of the horrible goblin king. The first token we draw is a plague on swordsman. Okay so that's token number one. Indeed we have the one green swordsman. He gets stricken with black death and it disappears. The second of three tokens that we pull out. Oh man. Yes, we pull out the dragon. Okay, that's another special mega boss. And the mega boss here is the dragon, of course. And yes, dragons breathe fire, as you can see, has five hit points. So let's find out where he shows up. He shows up on space number two so we will put him on two which will be right there and we need to read the special text of what the dragon does it says when drawn which is right now he breathes fire and while in play he does this for movement so right now as soon as he shows up he breathes fire so he spits a fireball out and hits the first structure which is going to be this one and he's going to set it on fire. Didn't we just put that out? Anyway, he lit it back up again. We're still not done. The Goblin King made us draw three. So we're drawing one more token. And in comes the Cavalry. A Goblin Cavalry shows up. And we're going to see where he appears. 
in section two. So we have Goblin Cavalry coming in with the dragon. Oh, I should have kept the hypnotized card. Silly me. All right. I only have the Barbarian left. So uh, I will draw five cards. Two, three, four, five. To make my deck hand of six. And let's see what we have now. So I have the Barbarian. I have a Blue Archer. A Red Knight. A Blue Swordsman. Missing. Oh, I like that card. And Flaming. And Flaming says... Play this card with any hit card to catch the hit monster on fire. So that's good. Okay, that's our hand drawn. Uh, let me think about what I'm going to do and we'll come back. Okay, I've thought about what I'm going to do. And the first thing I'm going to do, of course, after you draw up with my six cards here now, is to discard and draw a card. So I'm going to discard the blue swordsman. And I'm going to draw a wizard card. The wizard card we draw is Wall of Force. Move all monsters in one arc back to the forest. All monsters in one arc back to the forest. Okay, and I want to quickly look at the definition of an arc. Uh, they spell everything out here nicely in the uh, manual. So if we're looking at uh, the description, an arc is like a number one, everything in one arc. So a color, obviously an arc, a ring is anything all the way around and one space. So in the Wizard's Tower expansion they clearly explain what is what. So Wall of Force lets us push every monster in one arc back to the forest. Wow, that's... Uh, I like that. Okay, that was... Um, that was indeed our discard and now it's time to play cards. So the first card I'm going to play is Missing. And we had enough monsters show up last turn, so do not draw any monster tokens this turn. Yay for us. Put that on the bag so I don't forget. So we're playing Missing. Again, hanging on to the Barbarian for later use. I am uh, going to use the Blue Archer right now. I'm trying to do this in somewhat of an order to hit this orc taking him down to one hit point. And now I'm using the red knight with the flaming sword. It says, with, play this card with any hit card, which is the red knight, to catch the hit monster on fire. So, I am going to actually hit the cyclops for one. He goes down to two, and he's now on fire. All right, and lastly, I'm gonna play the Wall of Force, and that's going to blow all of these monsters back to the forest ring. So the flaming uh, Cyclops and the Imp is blown back. Hanging on to the Barbarian, we draw five cards, because we don't pull our, I'm sorry, it's move monster turn. I'm getting ahead of myself. All of these monsters move up one. The Dragon now has a special order, so hang on just a second and we'll deal with that. Okay, so looking at the dragon, he has some specific uh, move orders. You basically roll a die and consult this little chart here. So we're going to do that for the dragon. Uh, and he... So we roll a six. So let's have a look and see what the dragon does when we roll a six. It says he moves one space counterclockwise. Move one space counterclockwise, then breathes fire. So he's staying in the forest. He's moving counterclockwise, which is this way, and he breathes fire. So he shoots fire over the heads of those monsters, and he lights this tower on fire. So that's the dragon moving. Our goblin rider goes one, two, because he moves two spaces, nothing in three, nothing in four. Our orc moves up one, and our goblin king moves up one space. And it would be normally draw two monsters, or draw two out of the bag, but we played Missing, which says do not draw any monster tokens this turn. Okay, good for us. Um, and so that's the end of the turn. I'm just going to draw up. I have, again, the Barbarian left. One, two, three, four, five cards we're drawing. And let's see what we get. We got a Blue Archer. We got Reinforce. Which is each player immediately draws a top card from either the castle or wizard deck. So well, that's good. Another blue archer. A brick card. Can put out some flames. We have tar. 
Place the tar token on one monster, the monster does not move this turn. Can be used in the inner circle, can't be used, I don't think, in the forest, but I'll have to double check that. So that is going to be uh, our five cards. Um, so let me think about what I'm going to do and come back and we will continue. Okay, done a little thinking. So the first card of my bunch that I'm going to play is I'm going to play the Reinforce card. And the Reinforce card says each player, well I'm a player, immediately draws the top card from either the castle or the wizard deck. So I'm going to draw the top card of the wizard deck. Let's hope we get a nice spell here. And we get Falgar's Blessing. All players draw up from the castle deck to a full hand. Ooh. That could come in handy at this very moment. Um, all right, so continuing to play cards, this is what I have left now. I'm gonna play one brick card to remove the flame off of the tower the dragon uh, just lit on fire. I'm going to play the two blue archers together, so that'll be two hits. And I'm gonna hit the Goblin King for one, two, he's out of here. I like that. I am going to play Tar, and I'm going to Tar the Goblin Cavalry, because I don't want him rushing right into my inner tower, so that's going to goo him down. And then, right now, I'm going to play Thalagar's Blessing. So I'll be all players draw up from the castle deck to a full hand. So I play that card, and now I can draw five more cards because all I have left is, yes, the Barbarian. One, two, three, four, five. So I immediately draw up. I'm still in the play uh, cards uh, turn. So I, now I have Mortar, double strike, play one card, not a special or wizard card. Twice this turn, uh, the Blue Knight, a Red Swordsman, Berserk, draw one card from the castle deck for every hit you play during the remainder of this turn, and yes, the Barbarian. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to play Berserk, which means for every hit card we play, we draw a castle card. So uh, with that, I'm going to play the Blue Knight, which is a hit card. Uh, so we draw a castle card, we draw a Green Knight. And I use the Blue Knight to hit the Orc, has one hit point left, the Orc is killed. Um, and that is basically all I can do. I am going to play the one mortar card I picked up. And that is going to allow me to put the flames out on this tower. So, okay, not too bad. So what's left in my hand is a green knight, a red swordsman, double strike, and the barbarian. Um, and you know what? I think because there's only one card left to draw in the draw deck, I am going to play the Barbarian right now, and I'm actually going to, so I shouldn't have tarred this guy, well, too late now. I'm actually going to slay our uh, Goblin Cavalry. Away he goes. So now I'm finished playing cards. I have a Green Knight, Red Swordsman, Double Strike. Uh, I should have, well, I had to, I had to think, do that. Uh, and that is going to be the end of play cards, and now we are into move monsters. So our flaming Cyclops moves up here. He's on fire. He's down to one hit point. Our gargoyle moves up one. Our imp moves up one. Our dragon, we consult the table. We roll one die and we see what he does. We roll a two. So with a two, what does our dragon do? Our dragon moves one space forward and then breathes fire. Okay, so he moves here, should have kept the Barbarian, moves one space forward and breathes fire and torches uh, that tower. And nothing in two, nothing in three, nothing in four, nothing in five, nothing in six. Time now to draw two tokens out of the bag. Hanging in there somehow. Uh, and I pull out an ogre. So where is our four hit point ogre going to show up? He's going to show up in section two, of course, with no uh, defense. And that's one draw. Oh, the bag's getting a little thinner. And our second draw is a plague on archers. Okay, I think that also comes at an opportune moment because 
we have no archers. So we don't have to worry about it. Okay, I think I'm going to end off this episode um, right now by just drawing up my uh, three cards. Uh, so I draw one card, which is a red hero. And this will be a minute to, I have to, now that we're end, we've used all of our castle cards, I have to shuffle and drop two more cards. Just give me a moment to shuffle the deck. Okay, so I've shuffled the deck thoroughly. Let's hope we get the Barbarian right away. <laughs> our first draw, Reinforce. Each player immediately draws a top card from either the castle or wizard deck. Okay, that's that's good. And the second card I draw is a brick. Well, that's good for putting out some flame. Okay, so to recap, I guess as we're ending the episode here, I have one brick, a reinforce, I have a red hero, a green knight, a red swordsman, and double strike. Okay, uh, we'll leave it off there. Uh, we have, I guess, we have the dragon and a bunch of... Monsters in section one, we have an ogre appearing section two, nothing in the other sections. Uh, and I guess next episode, uh, we'll, I'll start off by with the discard and draw portion. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We're hanging in there, our wizard's tower is still standing, so which we can still continue to draw wizard cards. Uh, we're taking a bit of a beating though, but I think we're through probably two-thirds of the monsters in the bag, and we're still alive. Okay, thanks for watching.